Here are four overlay transitions you can add to your video on Final Cut Pro. In this video, I'll share with you the four different overlay transitions, where I managed to find each one for free, and lastly, how you can add these to your videos on Final Cut Pro. First, we have the light leak transition, very popular and you've probably seen this everywhere. Next, we have the film transition. There are many different types of film transitions. Number three, we have the slow shutter transition. Less common, but it can be handy to know about. Lastly, we have the glitch transition. Now moving on to where I managed to find these free overlays, usually if you just search up free transition overlay and then whatever overlay you're looking for in Google, you usually should be able to find a few free ones. But to save you time, I'll just share with you the ones that I managed to find. Now links to these will be in the description. So the light leak one I found in Cinepax. The two film ones, I found the film burn one in the Resolve Store and I found the vintage film roll effect in Mixkit. The slow shutter I found in Lucy Galliford's Instagram where you comment the word transition and she sent it to you via DM. And lastly, the glitch one I found in Pixabay. Now to add an overlay transition to Final Cut Pro, it's super simple. Once you have the overlay transition imported here, just drag and drop it to your timeline between two clips. Then once it's selected, head on over to blend mode over here, then go to screen. And that's pretty much it. However, I like to do a few other things. If we go command plus to zoom in, I usually shorten the transition so it's a bit shorter. And because I do that, I usually add a cross dissolve on both ends so it's smoother. Drag it more centered. So it looks like that now. And then usually I add a sound effect. So if we go under sound effects, for this light leak one, let's use a fire. Let's use this one. If we go to the end of it, command B to cut the excess off. Again, fade in, fade out like that. Reduce the volume. And for personal preference, I go under effects, search up bass enhancer 2, drag and drop it. And I'll put the volume up so you can actually hear it, but usually it's quieter. But here is what it looks like. The only other thing I wanted to add is just to be aware of usage rights and copyrights. My name is Junius and I help people make and strategize educational content. For more Final Cut Pro tutorials like this one, check out this playlist here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.